Jen, congratulations on Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. Thank you. I was such a huge fan of the first Maleficent movie. I have to ask you, first of all, did you get a chance to watch it before you got involved oh, with this? De well, I hadn't seen it before, but um, I watched it um, when I was cast, and uh, it was fantastic. I mean, mm -hmm. Angelina Jolie's a fantastic actress, as is Elle Fanning, so it's Amazing. great. What was your biggest draw to uh, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil? Was it something to do with the script, the character you were playing, or...? Um, it was everything. Um, it's Disney itself. You know, when I was growing up, I watched those movies, and they're they're so full of imagination, and people are at the highest level in all departments, and to be around that would be so inspiring. So that was that was the whole pull. Yeah. And of course, I have to ask you about working with the powerhouse that is Angelina Jolie. Like, what is she actually like as like personality-wise, and then both as kind of a working, you know, colleague and everything. Um, she's amazing, like incredibly smart, um, engaged in every aspect of the film and um, just really cares about the process and the creativity, you know, she wants it to be the best it can be and that is so rewarding to be around, you know, there's no complacency and she has such passion mm -hmm. um, and she loves people, so that's really lovely to witness, you know. I mean, you have such an amazing cast overall in this. Yeah. You know, some are returning from the first film, some are new to it. You have Michelle Pfeiffer, Elle Fanning, Sam Riley, Chewie Delegio for just to yeah. name a few of them. Who did you get to kind of work with um, the closest and were there any that kind of surprised you? Or? Um, I was working with Michelle the mm -hmm. most, um, which was thrilling because I grew up watching her and uh, I just admire her as an actress. I love her choices. I love her privacy and... Um, it was thrilling. It was a dream come true, yeah, to be opposite her. What was your favourite thing about playing your character? Oh, it, just being part of it. You know, I can't say much about my character, um, but just to be the costumes designed by Ellen. Yeah. She, this woman has designed costumes for speed and the perfect murder and fatal attraction. and. That was really, it's wonderful to watch an artist work from the ground up and build something. That's really a lot of fun, mm -hmm. yeah. And what was the biggest challenge you came across, whether it was something you kind of had to prepare before you went into shooting mm -hmm. or during the shoot itself, like which stage was kind of the most challenging? Um, there was a couple of skills that I had to learn that mm -hmm. I did a lot of training for, which I can't really say <laughs> much about, <laughs> but we'll find out. Um, and that was quite challenging. But really the main challenge was to enjoy it, you know, because you're nervous and I'm like acting opposite people that have been my heroes. And so it's just to focus on the story and look at the other actor's eyes and tell the story because that's what it's all about. And it's to block out the other stuff that you worry about, mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, just looking at your career overall, what has led up to this moment, you've been working with like some of these absolutely amazing actresses. You were working opposite Kate Beckinsale in Love and Friendship, yeah. Alicia Vikander in Testament of Youth, Saoirse Ronan in Brooklyn, and then with Samantha, Samantha Morton oh, in I Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Yeah. Like, what has that been like? Especially, I suppose, you know, as a woman, I'm looking at like these actresses you're working with. That must be just absolutely phenomenal for you. Yeah, it really is. Um, I'm so lucky. I just always wanted to be an actor and um, I love women, you know, mm -hmm. so to watch people, you know, do what they love to do and still really respect it um, is, is, is so inspiring, it keeps you going, you know. Have any of them offered like say a piece of advice or maybe an anecdote that you've ended up kind of taking with you and has influenced you in further ways? Well, Angelina Jolie said something um, not in this film, many years ago I saw in an interview, she mm -hmm. said what's, someone asked her what's best advice for an actor coming up and she said get a life, fill your life, because um, acting is wonderful but you become a better actor if you have a full life that means something to you and that's the best piece of advice I think I've ever heard. <laughs> that's amazing, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, you mentioned the costumes earlier and I had to ask, actually ask you about that because a lot of the projects you've done particularly, I know you've done TV as well, but like in the films you've done a lot of them are like kind of period set even mm -hmm. when they are kind of 
fantasy film. So I was yeah. wondering if there's any costume that kind of stands out in your mind that was like maybe your favorite to wear or even like was just so, oh, I can't believe I have to wear that because like your roles have been so like costume oriented. Yeah, you know? it's it's amazing. Uh, the past few films I've done, like they've made leather shoes mm -hmm. for my feet. It's incredible, <laughs> you don't need to break them in. It's fantastic. Um, I love the costumes in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. My character specifically, Dolores, didn't really get the nice nipped in waists and vintage jewelry but I love that 50s silhouette I think mm -hmm. that looks fantastic on anyone um so that would be my favorite amazing um and because Maleficent Mistress of Evil it is kind of looking at a like revamp of like a Disney princess I was wondering who would have been the Disney princesses that you grew up with or perhaps you know influenced you Disney princesses well I wouldn't go specific um for like my mother <laughs> was someone I really looked up to and um, literally Michelle Pfeiffer, yeah. Batwoman. She was my Disney princess. <laughs> so yeah, that would be the one. That's so amazing that like you got to work with her all those years later. I love when life kind of, you know, gives you a basket it's, that that's, way. <laughs> that's the beauty of this profession. You know, it's up and down and uh, it's very unpredictable. But once you sort of surrender to that, your dreams can come true. Okay. And it's cheesy, but it's the truth. <laughs> so... When you get a script, what is that thing that you are looking for in it? Good writing. Yeah. The writing, it has to be the writing. And then a director that has a point of view and uh, clarity with what he wants, this, how to, he wants to ex execute the story. That's what I look for. Amazing. Because everything else can come together. But if the script is not intelligent, um, the film's not going to be any good. And I suppose my very last question for you, Jen, is like you kind of have done like such a variety of stuff at this point, but what are you kind of looking to do next or do you have any hopes for that? Um, I can't really say what I'm doing next. It's all very <laughs> exciting. But um, I guess I just I would love longevity in my career mm -hmm. and I like transforming. So I'd like to do different roles. Um, but I think that's what's going to happen. It's very yeah. exciting. Just to keep it very varied and see what kind I don't, of concepts. I don't want to repeat myself. Yes. Like the people that I am um, very inspired by disappear into their characters. Um, and that's what I would like to do.